Russia dams drones with terrifying efficiency, Ukraine has found a solution. Russian occupiers are jamming Ukrainian drones on the front lines and the enemy's work has been terrifyingly effective. Because of this, Ukrainian developers had to show ingenuity. This is how the Eagle Eyes software package for drones was born. Developed by Ukrainian special forces, it allows drones to navigate using only machine vision. Using artificial intelligence algorithms, the program compares a real-time video image of the terrain with an onboard map stitched from photographs and videos collected earlier by reconnaissance aircraft. This allows the drones to continue to perform their tasks even after they were drowned out, writes The Economist. Eagle Eyes is also trained to recognize specific ground targets including tanks, transporters, missile launchers and attack helicopters. The drone can then release bombs or dive without operator command. According to the captain, who wishes to remain anonymous, Eagle Eyes is programmed to prioritize jamming stations. Priority number two is Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missile batteries. In the spring of 2023, Eagle Eyes were tested in combat by only three special forces groups, each of which had two or three drones. Today, Eagle Eyes are cheap enough for kamikaze drones and are widely used, says Valery Borovic, commander of the White Eagle unit fighting in southern Ukraine. The system, with a range of about 60 kilometers, also guides unmanned aerial vehicles that strike energy infrastructure in Russia, he said. A hybrid of an air defense system and an aircraft missile has been created in Ukraine. Experts installed R-73 short-range aircraft missiles on the OSA AKM anti-aircraft missile system instead of the standard 9M-33 M3 missiles. The work was carried out to compensate for the lack of standard anti-aircraft missiles for the OSA air defense system. In addition, Ukraine has created naval air defense drones. A few days ago, the head of the security service of Ukraine, Vasily Maliuk, officially confirmed that the Ukrainian Sea Baby drones were equipped with Grad multiple launch rocket systems. Russia issues nuclear warning to U.S. over missile threat. Russia will respond to U.S. deployment of medium-range missiles in the Asia-Pacific region, the country's foreign minister has said, adding that Moscow will consider additional steps for Russia's nuclear weapons arsenal, according to Newsweek. The implementation by the Americans of plans to deploy ground-based medium and shorter-range missiles will not remain without our reaction. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told the state-run RIA Novosti news agency. In mid-April, the U.S. military said it had deployed the mid-range capability missile system to the northern Philippines, marking what it described as a landmark deployment for the new capability. Late last year, a senior U.S. general had said the military was planning to deploy an mid-range capability battery to the Pacific at some point during 2024. I am sure that other countries in the Asia-Pacific region will also receive requests to provide hospitable territory for similar types of weapons, Lavrov told Russian state media. The abandonment of unilateral self-restrictions introduced by Russia after the U.S. withdrawal from the INF Treaty is inevitable, Lavrov said. We do not exclude additional steps in the field of nuclear deterrence because American forward-based missiles will be able to cover command posts and locations of our nuclear forces. The U.S. missile system will create a serious security challenge for Russia. Lavrov added, the mid-range capability located in the Philippines is not a significant security threat to Russia, and Lavrov's remarks are likely intended as a show of solidarity with key ally China, said William Alberk, visiting fellow with the Stimson Center think tank in Washington. There are no missiles being deployed that can strike Russian territory from the Philippines, Alberk told Newsweek. Shen Jian, Chinese ambassador for disarmament, said that Beijing had concerns about the U.S.'s plan to deploy such missiles in the Asia-Pacific on a regular basis, which will ramp up insecurity, generate risks, and eventually harm the security interests of all. Beijing's foreign ministry said last month that the deployment of the mid-range capability missile incited military confrontation and jeopardized peace in the region.